Well, news broke yesterday that Northern Independence Party leader Dr. Philip Proudfoot had won his libel case against Tracey Ann Oberman after she had suggested that NIP was a continuity Corbyn party and that Proudfoot himself had a due block list. What Proudfoot had actually done was used the Twitter blockchain tool to tackle troll behaviour he was being subjected to, which basically blocks everyone following a certain account. He doesn't discriminate whether trolls might have been Jewish or not was irrelevant since everybody got blocked. Now, we've seen celebrity witch finders on social media for some time. They readily leapt on the Corbyn as a raving anti-Semite bandwagon in order to bring him down. And for many of us on the left, horrified at the accusations being levelled at a guy we knew was a lifelong anti-racist, we've been absolutely sickened by this, especially when that ended up denying the country the changes it needed, that it led to the lying actual racist Boris Johnson becoming prime minister. And these people, along with a billionaire owned, terrified of Corbyn media going along with it, are responsible for that. It was a scam, a scam that has cost us dearly. Everything done to bring Corbyn down was all in the Tories' favour. Everyone who has used spurious claims of racism against the left helped to enable the hurt already being caused to too many people to carry on and to enable Johnson the real racist in the most sickeningly ironic way possible. This loss, however, exonerates many on the left who stood up and called it out. Anti-Semitism is a problem, a serious one, but these accusations undermined utterly the fight against it for factional political reasons. That is especially true of the Labour leader Keir Starmer, who has used said accusations against Corbyn to keep him out of the parliamentary party. Starmer demands still that Corbyn apologise for saying the problem of anti-Semitism in the Labour Party was exaggerated. Tracy Ann Oberman has now lost in court for exaggerating anti-Semitism claims. There's now precedent in law that anti-Semitism claims have indeed been exaggerated, backing up Corbyn's point completely. That's in addition to other examples like Laura Murray's successful win over former Labour MP turned Tory Lord Ian Austin when he accused her of being an anti-Semite. Be a rotten shame if Jeremy chose to act legally on this against Labour, wouldn't it? Ah, but Starmer still has his made-up NATO rule to keep him out, doesn't he? Solidarity to Dr. Proudfoot and congratulations on clearing your name.